My name's Sally Ray Rogers, and it was a few years ago, the day before Thanksgiving, and my son Jason said, we have to go to the toy store. <laughs> he always had a sense of urgency, overwhelming urgency of what we have to do. And I said, why do we have to go to the toy store? And he said, because I heard that the day before Thanksgiving, they get the new G.I. Joes in, and they're not even out on the shelf yet, but maybe I can find them. I said, all right, we'll go. So we went to the toy store, and of course, my eyes were drawn to the storytelling tapes and an enormous dollhouse, but I could see Jason running off down the aisles, and I said, I better keep track of where he's going. Before I knew it, this beautiful woman came out and she was wearing a smock that said, Brimstone R Us. I didn't think that had been the name of the toy store, but she said, oh, I heard your little boy is looking for the new G.I. Joes and, and we have them down in the basement. Would you like to see? And I thought of caution, but I could see Jason running for the freight elevator with this woman. So off I went, trailing along. And as the door shut on the elevator, I felt somehow as if I was being closed in. Down, down, down into the bowels of the earth. I didn't think the basement could be that low. <laughs> Finally, the elevator stopped and the doors opened, and we saw an enormous, beautiful room. And I think the G.I. Joes were over in the corner there. There was some merchandise, but I looked at Jason, and in that moment, I felt an overwhelming hunger for food. And Jason looked at me and said, I'm hungry! Well, there was this beautiful table set and hundreds of people sitting there eating or trying to eat. I found myself sitting at the table with Jason directly across from me. And as I went to pick up my spoon and fork, I noticed that they were unusually long. And every time I would pick up a piece of food, it would seem to fall or I, somebody's elbow would hit me and I, I couldn't even get the food near my mouth and everybody around me looked angry and frustrated and tormented. And I looked over at Jason and he looked very angry and I felt this frustration because no matter what I couldn't eat the food and there was a very strange awful feeling there and as the anger continued to rise in me I got an intuition and I looked at Jason and I said I think we should get out of here pronto and he said Yes, and we stood up and ran for the freight elevator. It was as if a force was pulling me back. I was so hungry, and, and I had this feeling, stay, stay. But finally, we got to the elevator door and pressed the button, and it opened. And there was a man inside, and he had a smock on also, but his smock said, Heaven are us. And we got in the elevator and went up, 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 up into the clouds. Could there be a room? Finally, the elevator stopped and the doors opened. And sure enough, it was the same room. How could it be? There was the G.I. Joes in the corner and a beautiful table was set with people. Everyone looked happy and joyful. And as I sat down across from Jason, I realized that it was the same silverware. 
But before I could think about it, I would hear someone laughing next to me. And instead of getting hit by their elbow, it was like a tickle. And I picked up the spoon and fork, and I put a spoonful of food in Jason's mouth. And I said, hey, I haven't fed you for a long time. And he picked up a fork full of food and put it in my mouth and said, I guess you're the baby now, too. And somehow we were laughing and having the most wonderful time. And we just ate and celebrated until we were full. And then I said, wow, I'm tired. And Jason said, you know, maybe we'll come and look at the G.I. Joes the day after Thanksgiving. So we went back to the elevator, down, and it opened onto the first floor of the toy store. And I said, what a strange toy store. And then somehow we went home and we never spoke about it again. But that was the most amazing meal I ever had. Thank you.